Welcome to Excel 2010 Business and Math video number 38. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 4, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're going to start on the sheet checking fees. And here's the deal. We've got to figure out for some checking accounts, you're charged for checks. Not all accounts. It pays to shop around. The fee that's charged for checks totally depends on the contract. Many banks will give you free checking, but some will not. And so here's kind of um, an example from our textbook of how you might get charged. So it depends on your average balance, right? So we're going to do a couple examples. Our average balance for the balance for the month was uh, 833. Our average balance, it, it, meaning the balance in the account for the month was 3,149. So that determines the fee. As you look down here, if you have $5,000 or more, you're not charged anything, right? Because they assume uh, you have so much money in the account that we're, they're going to give you that service for free. All right, so here's how it goes. Less than 500 you get a flat fee of 12 bucks plus 20 cents for every check. Between 500 and 1999 99 cents, flat fee of 750 20 cents per check. Now notice this category here says 500 up to and including 1,999. This is called inclus an inclusive uh, category because the lower and the upper number both are included here. If you have 1,999.99 cents, it's still these two. If it's 500, it's still these two. All right, so on this one's 2,000 up to this, and 5,000 or more, it's free. So let's do a calculation. Oh, first, we have to look this up. So we have to take 833 bucks and find the category. All right, so it seems like it fits between these two. So it's 750, 20 cents per check. So our formula becomes, oh yeah, the 750 plus the, the charge for all of the checks. So I'm going to say 38 times our 20 cents per check. Now notice this will work perfect because the order of operations says do multiplication first and then add and that will work. 15 so 15, and 10 cents. 15 and 10. The reason why you always hear my computer talking is because I have this, I've added this special button, speak cells Turned on enter. Speak on enter. All right, now what about this one? 3,000, so this is the number that determines what charges we'll get. So 3,000 149 fits between these two, so it's 5 and 10. So I'm going to say equals the 5 bucks plus, oh, 64 checks times the 10 cents. So it's $5 plus uh, $6.40 would be 11.40. All right, this one, oh yeah, 5,000 more, so it's zero. We get a zero. And right here, oh, we didn't have, ooh, average balance is pretty small. So I come up here, oh, less than 500. So it's 12 and 20 cents per check equals 12 plus 17 checks times our 20 cents per check. All right, so that's a little bit about how to do these calculations. In our next video, I'll actually show you how to automate this so you don't have to actually look it up. There's a formula in Excel that knows how to do lookup. And so we'll see how to use just create a formula, and no matter what we type in these cells, it'll automatically calculate. All right, see you next video.